This podcast is brought to you by Most Valuable Podcasts, leading the league in podcasting entertainment. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. This is Fast Break Podcast. I'm your host, Sean Anderson, alongside me, as always, is Ricky Wimmer. What's up, what's up, guys? And Dave Oster. Hey, everybody. And today, we are going to be talking about Kawhi Leonard wanting out of San Antonio. It has been flooding your Twitter, most likely. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about Kawhi and landing spots for him. We're going to talk about landing spots for LeBron James. Some might say the greatest of all time. Some might not. And Ricky Wimmer. Um, We're also going to welcome in, we know who the other person is. We're going to welcome in two patrons as well. We're going to talk about the Suns draft with our boy Z, and then we're going to talk about the ultimate fantasy draft with Jake. We're going to welcome in Jake, and we're going to pick a starting five, a six-man, and a coach with our buddy Jake going through the pantheon of old NBA players trying to create the best lineup we possibly can. Thank you for joining us here on the Fast Break. Before we jump into the podcast, just a couple things. If you want to be a patron like Z and Jake, head over to patreon.com slash podcast. If you want to support us, we got the $10 here where you can be a podca- uh, you be on a podcast with Jake or like Jake um, and Zani. Not like, you know, not be on a podcast mm-hmm. with Z and, and Jake, with but us, like them. but like them. Um, you can also go to iTunes. You can rate us five stars there. We greatly appreciate it. Um, if you want to go over there, help us out, help support us. And you can also um, help, you know, the Onsite Kick, the Brunk Tech Podcast, mm-hmm. and the Rick and Johnny Podcast over there. And finally, check out mostvaluablepodcast.com. We have all of our articles, all of our podcasts posted up there. And we also have our site up there if you want to support us and buy some t-shirts. Mark was just recently shipping out some t-shirts. So yep. uh, thank you to everybody who support us there. But boys, the big news today came in around noontime, noontime central, uh, mm. that Kawhi Leonard wants out from the San Antonio Spurs. That's coming from Shams. Also on it was Woj. Um, and I think Chris Haynes yep. was the first one that I saw uh, drop it as well. But Shams tweeting out, Kawhi Leonard wants out from the San Antonio Spurs. League sources tell Yahoo and it kind of caught the Spurs, from what I'm hearing as well, mm-hmm. um, off guards as well. They weren't really expecting this because Pop and Kawhi didn't meet face to face. And this is Kawhi's camp pretty much going out, going straight to social media to say Kawhi wants out of San Antonio. And Woj is saying that his likely destination, or at least his preferable destination, is the Los Angeles Lakers. So let's talk about it. We're not too shocked because we covered it during the regular season. Mm-hmm. Kawhi obviously didn't play for the San Antonio Spurs too much. He tried out his uh, leg a little bit, but didn't really stay committed to playing. They pulled him. They wanted him to make sure he was healthy, and he didn't see him after that After that January uh, game uh, against the Grizzlies. So let's talk about it, Ricky. You, you keep bringing up LeBron to the Lakers. Now Kawhi possibly the Lakers. Should the Spurs trade Kawhi Leonard to the Lakers? Well, I'm going to say yes, that they should trade him to the Lakers only because... Well, I'll say it this way. Mm -hmm. For the Spurs as a team, they shouldn't care who they trade him for. The thing that I think is the best team to trade him to from an outside would be the Lakers, only because if I'm like a Celtics, if I'm like a 76ers, why am I trading Kawhi? Why am I trading for Kawhi for a one-year rental, half-a-year rental? Because the interesting thing with this is, first, the Spurs are kind of fucked with this because it's all right we either keep him and he leaves at the end of the year or we trade him but then it's like our team's gonna want to trade for him even though he's come out and said like i want to go to la lakers being that team our other team's gonna want to throw assets at us just to get him for half a year because there's no reason why Kawhi, if he goes to philly can't be like yeah this was nice but now I'm going to leave. I'm going to go sign with the Lakers, with my hometown, where I live in the off season and where I'm more familiar with. So this was the first domino that had to fall, mm-hmm. and now the free agent season, the second season, starts for the NBA. All right, right. All right Dave, should the Spurs trade Kawhi Leonard to the Lakers? Uh, should they? Yes, because I think the Lakers actually probably can give them the best deal, like money for the— Money back because Kawhi coming out and his camp leaking, you know, locations that he'd like mm-hmm. to go to kind of ties their hands together. But at the same time, I feel like Pop is an old man. And you know what? Old men don't like being told, you know, what, what to, to do. do. Mm-hmm. So I feel like there there's a risk there that he just sits, you know, it's like you're staying on the Spurs the whole season mm-hmm. until I get something that makes me want to move you. And on that... Being old school, Mark Heisler of the Orange County Report Register, uh, I think it's Orange County Register, Mm -hmm. back April 21st put out a 
tw- uh, article saying Kawhi Leonard is available, just maybe not to the Lakers. And one thing is that it's a cardinal rule not to help Western Conference rivals, much less the traditional uh, tradition and resources of the Lakers. So Pop, going old school, doesn't really want to help out his Western Conference rivals mm-hmm. in the Lakers, a team that he's battled with ever since the early 2000s, late 90s, yeah. um, when you know it was, it was the Admiral and, and, and good old Timmy D. So this is a team that he doesn't really want to help. So... With Kawhi not having a trade, uh, no trade clause, he doesn't really dictate where he can go. He can say, I want to go here, mm-hmm. but, you know, pissing off Pop and also, you know, kind of bailing on your team last season and just the fact that you'd be going to a Western Conference rival that you're going to make Pop's job harder seems pretty stupid in my mind. So should they? Hell no. Will they? <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen either. I think there's more a possibility that they will, but I don't think they should trade um, Kawhi Leonard to, to the Lakers. And I think one thing that I want to go off on, um, and, and I'm kind of glad one of our patrons didn't join this because I, I kind of want to rant a little bit because rant this whole away, thing Sean, is pissing me off. Mm-hmm. I'm pissed off by the, the Kawhi Leonard stuff. I'm pissed off by LeBron James stuff. Why? Because I think one thing that people are losing is patience. And I think one thing that people are losing is, is, is loyalty, and it's really just irking me. I understand that LeBron, mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know, early in his career, he wanted to go to Miami um, and, and you know start winning championships, start being a part of a, a culture that he b- believed in. And then once that team started going away, you know, D. Wade started getting hurt. Bosh obviously had his problems. He went back to Cleveland to make sure he got a title for his, his, his city. Now he leaves. I kind of understand that a little bit, but still there is no lo- loyalty. He left the team that drafted him. He left his hometown to go chase rings. And, you know, we base players, their greatness on rings. It doesn't matter that LeBron James has gone to straight eight finals. It's imagine, you know, 6-0 uh, against Jordan. How many wings, rings have you won? Mm-hmm. And now this is kind of reflecting on Kawhi Leonard. This is reflecting on Paul George. And I, I don't understand what's going on with Kawhi Leonard. I don't understand why this is a necessary move because Kawhi Leonard is in a place that patience is key. This is a team that's consistently drafted. This is a team that's consistently built their team from within. This is a team that's been consistently patient with their players and they seem to be giving Kawhi Leonard everything he wants he they're, they're going to give him a super max if he stays on this team mm-hmm. but Kawhi said that's not that important to him he wants rings he wants to get out of there I don't think there's patience anymore in the NBA and it, it's just irking me because the Lakers are a team that I felt should have been patient it's a team that I think early on in my podcasting days here yep. at most Valley podcast was a team that I said in two to three years this team's going to be making the playoffs now I was off on that but I still think this team is heading in the uh, right direction Lonzo Ball kind of right I, I mean, maybe especially if, you know, Kawhi Leonard exactly. and LeBron James goes there. But, um, again, Lonzo Ball, uh, Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram, I mean, I think that they're on the right track here. And I think they're abandoning patience if they go after this. Because you're abandoning Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, whoever you do trade, yeah. and, and giving up the hope and potential they have to go after Kawhi Leonard, a guy that hasn't been loyal to the team that he, he was drafted by, haven't been loyal to a coach that won him a ring and an NBA MVP or a Finals MVP, mm-hmm. hasn't been you know loyal to the guy that gave him a year off. And I understand that maybe you don't want to play with Mar- Lamarcus Aldridge. Maybe they made the choice of Lamarcus Aldridge over you. But I don't understand where the loyalty has gone, and I just don't understand why Kawhi Leonard just can't have patience well, right now, or even LeBron it's James a for that fact as well. It's it a is players league, and I love it. So, I love the mobility. I, I don't. I it, love it's, Kawhi it, it bugs Leonard. The shit out of me. I love Kawhi Leonard basically having the the uh, everything in his favor to say no. This is what I want because I look at the NFL side, and I'll bring that in a little bit. A guy like Aaron Donald, where it's like all I have is I can skip OTAs and mandatory minicamp, but it's not going to help me. Whereas See, but here's a guy the thing like Kawhi Leonard should say, no, I, this is, I want to dictate and, where I go because I'm not happy here. And again, If you're not happy with your job, what are you going to do? Stay there okay, forever. Okay, but here, leave. let's 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 put something here. And I understand mm-hmm. that you can you can pick where you work in, yeah, in the NBA. Yeah. But also, I'm I'm you know pulled behind the, the curtain. We don't make an, uh, money. This isn't a full time yeah. job. No, for I me. know. So I'm, 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 just I'm applying in general. To jobs right now, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And I'm applying to everywhere. Mm-hmm. Anyone that will hire me. Yeah. I haven't gotten a call back, and I'm, I'm salty about that. But <laughs> um, with, with that is, I'm not picking again a, a place to work. Mm-hmm. I am you know picking where to apply, but I'm yeah. just uh, picking in, in a job field that I mm-hmm. want to work in. And I don't really pick my salary. I don't pick where I'm working. I'm mm-hmm. picking who anyone wants to read my job situation. application and get my resume. But again, this is something where Kawhi Leonard has the ability to pick a Supermax or not. He's still going to make hundreds of millions of dollars in the NBA. And I, I, again, I, I'm not bashing Kawhi Leonard. I, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm just. I'm, this is my frustration in general with the league. You're bashing where the I, league is I right think, now. I think, on I the think other this side, is you... something where, again, Kawhi yeah. Leonard... 
I, I just don't understand why this move is necessary for him. I feel like you're reading too much into different things here. From my point of view, it's Kawhi and the trust in the Spurs. At this point, he feels like he's been betrayed by their doctors. He had the two most veteran players on the team come out, speak publicly, and be like, I came back from a worse injury than that. I don't understand what's taken him so Basically, long. Basically, fall in Having line Pop with Pop. actually speak publicly about this. Like, he'd been sheltered for so long. Like, nope, nope, Kawhi, you know, whatever. We're not going to talk about it. Not going to talk about it. Oh, Kawhi's injured? Why don't you go ask him? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, like it just got to the point where everything coming out publicly from the Spurs, like, we finally saw the cracks in the armor of, like, this is an organization. They're not just robots. They're not soulless. You know, like, like people want to perceive them as... Because this is a team that has had some drama, but they kept it on the download. They did a very good job with that. But now I feel like Pop is at the end of his time. They've made a ton of contract offers in the last couple of years that kind of put a timeline on Kawhi Leonard that maybe didn't need to be there. Mm -hmm. You know, dropping a ton of money on Paul Gasol, adding, you know, extensions to Patty Mills. Yes, he's a good player off the bench, but is he worth, you know, like 12 plus mil a year? I don't know. Uh, Rudy Gay coming off the Achilles well, he did play well. You know, it's you're taking a risk on a player who is at the end of his prime if he has any prime left because of a colossal injury. Mm-hmm. So I I think that there is more to it than the, like, I want to go somewhere else because I don't like this market. I don't care about my money. I just want to go play for winners. I think it's more like he lost trust in them. He feels like they lost trust in him. Mm-hmm. And then he feels like they didn't build around him well, to win. And the thing that I love the most, and this is going at, like, where the league yeah. is, they collectively bargained for this, like, oh, you get a you get eighty million more dollars of a super max if you stay with your original team, and it's like, great, this is going to keep players with their team. Adam Silver thoughts, well, yes. And what we're and what we're learning is players are going. No, I don't need that money. I want to go play and win. Because... But what's the, what, but honestly, what's the difference between like I, again? This is stupid to say, mm-hmm. but. What is the difference between 219 mil compared to 196, especially when you're getting advertisements? That's well, the especially thing. When you're getting the ad more. Mm-hmm. So players get more money with through... the shoe deals yes. and stuff, like, too. You get more Maybe to a guy like from endorsements. Char- uh, you know, uh, Chandler Parsons. Mm-hmm. I was going to say Charson Pandler. Charson Pandler. Uh, you know, Chandler Parsons. But again, like, Dame has no w- w- reason to stay in Portland because he has mm-hmm. that Adidas money. LeBron has no reason to stay tied to any city because Derek he has that Nike money forever. paid ever. bank from Adidas forever. Yeah. I mean, this is a thing where, again, the money doesn't matter. I think the players have too much power. I, I, I'm, I'm not blaming Kawhi Leonard. I don't know the situation. I don't know what he's going through. But it, the the fact that he's going behind, you know, uh, this camp at least is going behind and he wouldn't not talk talking to Pop to, straight to, to Pop. That I, that, that rubs me the wrong way. Yeah. And one thing too with with Kawhi Leonard is I, I didn't put him in my top five mm-hmm. for uh, you know players right now in the NBA just mm-hmm. because of his injury. But we know his talent. He's a very talented player. But if he goes to LA, he's going to now be in the biggest market, one of the most markets that you need results right away especially if this is basketball but he's so not going to be going alone That's we don't know that we, we do know, know that if how Ka- do we know that if Kawhi, because lebron hasn't signed yet no 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 but paul george but hasn't like signed i yet. said we can't Kawhi, legally sign anything Kawhi's no, but, the first domino if Kawhi goes to la lebron's <coughs> in la like tomorrow why is that because he's going to go... Is that a for sure thing? Why is that for sure? The reason we why... We don't know what's in LeBron's head. We're going to get into LeBron a little bit, but the one thing I will bring up in this is the thing that everyone's talking about is, oh, his kid enrolled in L.A. That I don't care about. The thing I care about more is his wife told him, L.A. or Cleveland, if you're picking between the two, even without Kali, who are you picking? Like, Game of Zone said it perfectly with the Paul George thing. It's like... You know what? I'm going to lose the Warriors anyways. L.A. has beaches. I mean, Mello went with the choice based off of his wife's preference as well. You know, Or it weighed heavily into it, I should mm-hmm. say. It mm-hmm. weighed heavily. So I see the value in like that statement. Because and if public, Kawhi Leonard goes there, oh, we can win there, and I can this bring is PG also or CP3. smoke screen season. It so is. the only reason why it's I'm saying this, the, the, the Kawhi thing isn't a smokescreen is because everybody's reporting it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like we heard that one thing from LeBron and his wife. Anybody can make that up. You can hear that in passing. We don't know that for sure. But we, we know, don't know what's happening but we know, with we know LeBron. LeBron, James. LeBron only lets things out of his camp when he wants it let out. But th- that's not something that is for sure from his camp. That can be something that just is heard in passing. Again, yeah. th- that is not... Unless it's coming from LeBron James or if it's coming from a guy like Woj or if it's coming from a guy like Shams, then maybe I'll buy into it. If his but wife's it, burner but, counts at it. Yeah, if his wife's burner counts at it. If, if you know, if it's if it's just Johnny Rockets on Twitter, I don't really give a fuck. Wow. Um, so it, it's something where I don't know where LeBron's going. I, I said on this podcast, I have a bet saying I'll paint my face 
purple and gold if LeBron goes to LA. Eight bucks. But Get one ready. Thing, I'm already but, ordering But one thing, it. too, is even with Kawhi, there isn't even a lock in a secure that he's going to LA. No. Because mm-hmm. Pop won't want to trade him to it because, again, you're helping out a Western Conference rival. And why would you go to LA if they're not going to give you the best ca- package? Mm-hmm. And also, if he is, if, if it, this is something that, again, he you feel slighted by him, why would you want to keep him in the Western Conference? Why don't, would you just ship him out to the opposite side of the country and go to Boston or go to Philly? Well, who's going to give you a better package than a team that Kawhi has verbal you know, his camp is verbally committed to mm-hmm. basically Boston. Get Boston will give you Jalen Brown, Taro Zier, and a pick. Get the fuck out of here! But here's the thing: they can offer this. Boston's first, Sacramento's first, if two or uh, if two or higher. Memphis, if nine or higher. Uh, the Clippers pick if fifteen or higher. Then in twenty twenty, they have Boston's first, Memphis's pick, the Clipper pick if it if it doesn't transfer. Then mm-hmm. in twenty twenty one, they have that Memphis pick if it doesn't transfer in twenty twenty. They have the Boston first pick. They have so many picks. You think he's going to unload the, the Anthony the, Davis the Lakers, chest on They Kawhi can Leonard. literally give them anything they want. <laughs> well, so they can, a, in picks, they can give them Jalen Brown, who, mm-hmm. at least wing-wise, has been fantastic it's so far good, for, yeah, for, yeah. for Boston. Terry Rozier, while he wasn't consistent in the playoffs, showed really great spurts as an offensive guard, which would pair great next to DeJounte Murray, and also a boatload of picks, and they're in the Eastern Here's Conference. Here's the thing about the picks, though, and you can tell me if I'm missing any teams here. You mentioned Boston, their own pick. You mentioned a Memphis pick. Mm-hmm. You mentioned a Clipper pick. Yeah, what like do you notice about all those teams? teams? Could be playoff teams, or if not, 13 through 15, or 12, 13, 14. Do I want to be that low for Kawhi? No, I want to be the up same in the top time. 10 for Remember, Kawhi. Remember, this is LaMarcus Aldridge's team. Mm-hmm. They're a playoff team, Sean. Who cares about all these draft <laughs> picks? I know Pop doesn't. I mean, if Pop's getting a first-round pick, and mm-hmm. he's also keeping his own first-round pick in, at 18. Kids. Pop loves kids. What are you talking about? Kids. He traded up to get Kawhi Leonard. He, t- he, tra- he, smile. he, he traded up to get Kawhi Leonard. He's nurturing De- DeJounte Murray by mm-hmm. himself. Uh, yeah. DeJounte I, was, was like joke. late 20s. Come on, get out of here with that. DeJounte um, was 19. DeJounte was a freshman. No, I'm saying like pick-wise. Yeah, so I'm pick saying wise. like 27th so and, then also, late, yeah. and then also uh, 18 this year, and then Kawhi was 15. Yeah, I'm just saying. This is a team in a win-now mode. You got LaMarcus Aldridge. Okay, so fine. you're going to give He's him Kyle Kuzma season. and Brandon Ingram? How's that going to help him win now? Uh, Jalen Brown and Terry Rozier both have playoff experience. I think Bi is actually a pretty good player. Mm-hmm. I think Brandon Ingram is well, too. But, but also, I'm good, saying like, how is they're gonna how is it gonna help him win now? What's is Brandon Ingram ready is, now to take over a team, no, especially he's not in San Antonio? Over. He's a second man, second and actually third. Jalen Brown still has experience. Really? They're the, the same. They're, they're basically the same thing. I'm saying playoff that, wise, it's not. It's a yeah, fact that Jalen Brown has gone to the playoffs two straight years. You are correct. I'm not I'm saying one's saying a better like, player. I'm saying if okay. one guy's going to help them win now, Jalen Brown has the playoff experience. He's been on a uh, he's been in a system similar to San Antonio. Mm. But correct me if I'm wrong. Later, like towards the Eastern Conference Finals, weren't there games where Jalen kind of disappeared? He also was unhealthy. Okay, that was that was when he's out there when he's out there hopping, and mm-hmm. you're like, oh god, no. And he's mm-hmm. still like dunking on him well, because he's. And the thing uh, with the Lakers, I'm not talking about performance. I'm yeah. talking the fact that Terry well, Rozier and Jalen Brown have both played career playoff games. Mm-hmm. Brandon Ingram has not even smelled it. Yep, that's the only fact I was making. Mm-hmm. What are you saying? Though? Well, the thing too with the Lakers is what are they even going to offer? Because yeah, most of us are thinking you're going to have... get Paul George. Well, Last year. Here's the thing. Indiana well, didn't want that. That was an Indiana thing. That was not a that. Paul George thing. And Paul George didn't didn't twist you don't, Indiana's but you don't, arm. But you don't think what you don't think that mm-hmm. the Laker package is not going to be similar to what they offered to Paul George. Um, for Paul George. I mean with the with the um Thunder one, they did get two players that did help them. So it's not like I'm not saying the Indiana trade was them. bad, but I'm saying that OKC made a better offer. Yeah, but also And the Laker one did not interest them. Paul the George one. didn't from, from, Paul George didn't twist their arm and say I only want to go to LA, basically telling any other is team Is Kawhi Leonard doing that? And also Kawhi Leonard doesn't have a choice. Kawhi no, it no, doesn't no, no. matter Paul what George Kawhi says. No, 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 but I'm saying is And that's why he went to OKC. By by Kawhi Leonard saying LA and then preferencing the Lakers. Yes, like the Celtics could trade for him, but just because I trade you, now I'm giving up Rozier, I'm giving up Brown, I'm giving up all these picks just for a guy who, this trade might not happen this offseason. It'll probably happen during the season maybe if Pop wants to do what you said and it's Mm -hmm. like, screw it, you're a spur. Yep. I'm sending all that to you for a half a year rental. But what, what what does Boston not have that the L.A. does? 
It's just a different name city. Yeah, Boston's exactly. a smaller. It's Boston's Kawhi a smaller market with a better basketball yeah. team. Kawhi wants and a better to play coach. there, though. Like it, it, and it an has easier nothing route to, to do the with, finals. It has nothing to do with like where I would want to play. It's Kawhi wants to go to LA. So even if he goes to Boston, we're still in the same boat then with Boston, you, where he'd leave Boston for LA. But you don't think that Boston, after having a great season, pretty much going to probably the NBA Finals if they acquire Kawhi Leonard, mm-hmm. wouldn't be able to re-sign Kawhi Leonard. Wouldn't be able to intrigue him enough because LA is so uh, such of a magical place. I mean, well, the Thunder depends. had a similar conversation with less success with Paul George right now. It's that, and Paul George might stay. Yeah, there, now, now there's, there's the might there's, stays. There's, there's depends still talk on that what LeBron Paul George does. is still interested. That, that's the thing is like you, you're acting like it's it's a far gone conclusion. It's we're saying if What's Kawhi a far go, gone conclusion? Um, like the fact that the Lakers offered, uh, yeah, Paul Stain and the fact that the Lakers offered a worse deal. I said he was, I, first off, I said Paul George was interested in saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If, if he's interested, I'll, I'll be, I'll be surprised. There are reports saying that he is interested. And in there are also reports said. saying that he's already out the door. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Reports can say whatever the hell they want to right, right now fair. because nothing's confirmed. It's mm-hmm. all speculation, mm-hmm. Sean. We're having a little fun with this. That's fair. The point and that's being, why I love the mobility because we're able to talk about the this Lakers because of it. The Lakers may be not offering the highest deal for him because he already came out publicly said, I want to play for the Lakers. When, mm-hmm. Why are we going to give you – why are we going to give assets when we can just take you in free agency the following year? Exactly. And well, our team's not ready to win right now. We can't afford LeBron James right now. Mm-hmm. So why would we give up assets for the future right now? Well, and the thing that I'm thinking about too is – Going back to that Laker deal, like you say, like oh, Bi and Kuzma, whoa, 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 Bi why, Kuzma, why Josh am I, Hart. Why am I going to give you Bi when Kawhi can just leave? I'll give you Lonzo. Like Lonzo. Like the thing that I'm hearing is that it's Lonzo and Kuzma. Mm-hmm. It's going to be two of those three guys: the Bi, Kuzma, and Ball. But it's like, wait, why am I giving you Bi when like Kawhi Leonard can leave? There's a chance that LeBron James can pick the Lakers. Bring Paul George over. Know that, hey, you know what? This year, I'm not beating the Warriors, but my wife told me Cleveland or L.A., and I really like L.A. more than Cleveland and that team that I had to drag and still lost to the Warriors. What? Where are and you going the, with this? Here's what I'm going to. It goes back to another thing that Magic Johnson said. Maybe when Magic Johnson was talking about, you know what? Like, this offseason, we're going to go really hard into it, but it's not just going to be about this offseason. It's going to be about next offseason. What if this is the one Lakers bring in LeBron PG next year's the off season they bring in Kawhi and then it's next year the Lakers make their push with their big three mainly because the Spurs didn't want to trade him to the Lakers and then they get nothing for him. Uh, but my my thought is is if Kawhi goes to Boston if Boston's able to pick him up mm-hmm. Boston's a better s- spot for them for, for 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 him for the future because it's not for sure that LeBron's going to mm-hmm. LA. So the fact that if LeBron doesn't yeah. go to L.A., then LeBron loses out on Kawhi Leonard. So if they want to get make, and make sure they get LeBron James, they probably have to trade for Kawhi Leonard Un- now. That's Unless what I'm thinking, yeah. Kawhi doesn't get traded or gets traded to Boston, LeBron then goes, you know what, I'm just going to opt into my Cleveland deal, stay here for a year, we'll do this all next year. It's great. Can't wait. We'll do it all next year. Can't wait. Yikes. Love and then it. PG goes to L.A. anyways because it's – his hometown, and he's not going to beat the Warriors in OKC, mm-hmm. so he goes to LA. That Are could you happen me too. Carmelo Anthony can't carry them <laughs> to a victory over the Warriors. I am. This is just frustrating. Yeah, because g- g- again, mm-hmm. I, I I probably sound whiny. I probably sound annoying, and that's fine. People say I'm a know it all, and I, I try to be. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, but it's something that just bug it bugs me to be honest well with you're you. giving the, you're because, giving the thought if you were Kawhi. well it gets it's, the it's, juices it's going. something that mm-hmm. is just so vague i don't know who to trust i don't know who's in the right i don't know who's in the wrong and ultimately it, it looks like Kawhi leonard is just being uh, throwing a fit and, and and one thing playing into that is if Kawhi leonard goes to los angeles mm-hmm. and lebron does as well and then this is going to be more on Kawhi. that's why i'm including in here not in lebron's situation Kawhi is now going to have this massive amount of pressure on him. He is going to need to be a team that is going to take down the Warriors. That's mm-hmm. the expectations for LA. Is that the pressure if, more if they on get him LeBron though, James and Kawhi LeBron. Leonard, well, it's it's going to be on LeBron. But yeah. it's also going to be if LeBron has the same exact series he just did. If he's putting up over thirty five points per game, mm-hmm. grabbing ten boards and near eight assists, and he's shooting fifty and thirty seven from the field, and Kawhi Leonard no shows. I'm not saying it will, he will, because again, he's a fantastic, talented player. This isn't about mm-hmm. his skills on the floor. But if he no shows and PG 13 has been a guy that has no showed before, big shots before. Playoff P? If this well, is a, if this is a guy that 
closes down and doesn't hit big shots, he is going to be the target because you lost LeBron James' best shot, and now this Laker deal is a jam. And now you are in L.A., which is the biggest market, and this is L.A. basketball. Mm -hmm. This is the biggest thing in, in L.A. I mean, the Lakers gonna dominate the market. Levels. So it's going to be something that you are going to get berated and bashed because you want it out of San Antonio and you can do anything with it. I That's, don't, It's a big way because don't all three of them have to go there. But I think that if LeBron, if the three go to L.A., most of us are not going to be talking about Kawhi. We're going to be talking about LeBron. And we're going to be talking about LeBron. Oh, why didn't he stay in Cleveland? He just lost to the Warriors. It was the same thing in Cleveland. The two things that I was um, going to get at after what you just said mm -hmm. is, first off, the whole Paul George thing, too. I'm hearing a lot of people say that, you know what? That might not be even a foregone conclusion. LeBron, Kawhi, and why would I take Paul George, who, like you said, no shows in big situations, what if it's a situation where CP3 goes, you know what, I'm going to be the one to join them. And then you get CP3, LeBron, and Kawhi there instead of Paul George. Dave, final thoughts. Uh, fiesta. <laughs> a little bit of party. This has been a, this has been a fiesta um, of words and, and thoughts. I think that Kawhi Leonard is probably at the will of Popovich, a man who is made unhappy recently. Um, and I could see Pop going one of two ways, like I started with. Just he, lost his wife, too. Yeah, I mm -hmm. mean, it's rough. It's a rough situation. He's probably at the end of it. Like, he's either done coaching in the next three years, mm -hmm. re respectively. Like, I think he's – I don't know how much he wants to keep doing it. I think for the next year he'll do it. But after that, very questionable. I think he, I think it's up to him. I think they're going to try to make it work, regardless of uh, him saying – or Kawhi saying he doesn't want to play there. It's like, sorry, you're, you're showing up. Or else, like that's that's the situation. I don't think it gets moved this offseason. That like stubborn old man he mentality. Move this off I don't think he moves this offseason. Yep. So they're just gonna hold him. And I'm let gonna him say walk? no trade. I'm gonna say no, not this offseason. They still oh. got the whole regular oh, okay. season to move. Mm -hmm. him. Maybe just clearing that up. Yeah. Where does he go? With what me, happens? I final thoughts. I'm gonna lean towards that the prophecy comes and he goes to LA this offseason because the Spurs realize that you know what, we're gonna get. Three players from L.A. L.A. is going to give us draft picks as well. Yeah, we're going to have to eat Luel Ding's contract, but everything happens where LeBron, Kawhi, and then a third, Paul George or CP3, go to the Lakers. Who do they give up? The Lakers to get some Kawhi. The Lakers are going to give up Luel Ding, Lonzo Ball, Kyle Kuzma, and then picks. And would Josh you take Hart. That? And Josh Hart. Probably. You would? You think Probably. Lonzo and Kyle Kuzma could be good pieces on a playoff Spurs team? No. But it's the best offer they're going to get, I would say. You don't think Boston can beat that? I think unless Boston digs heavy into that draft chest, mm -hmm. which we'll only hear about after the Danny Ainge offered them 27 <laughs> picks. And then for, they didn't for take it. And they're like, no, man. Should Danny Ainge <laughs> no, do it? No, we wouldn't even do that. <laughs> Should Danny Ainge do it? Yeah, I mean, I think that I think is, is Kawhi Leonard worth it? That's the thing. They already are wing heavy. Like, mm -hmm. if you're moving like, you're a player like... Jaylen. Is it Jalen or is it Gordon Hayward? Because okay. I've heard rumors mm -hmm. of Gordon Hayward as well. Mm -hmm. And Ricky What do you Brumpton, think is more intriguing? I think Gordon Hayward's interesting because they just gave him all the money, mm -hmm. and then he completely lost an entire year of his career. Mm -hmm. And he's coming off an injury, and you don't know how great he's going to be. And Kawhi's coming off a smaller injury with more time to recover. And I you would, also got Kyrie coming off an injury. I would, I would go honestly. I would, I would ship Gordon Hayward. I, I think that I would, I would be happy to take. J and this is coming from the man who previously, you know, Jalen Brown disapprover, but like yeah. he. <laughs> I, I would go with that. Two things with that, though. Yep. Um, one, you have Gordon Hayward locked down on a contract. Correct. Um, I'm sacrificing you're gonna free security. Up, you're going you're gonna to free up space and and be able to you know max out Kawhi Leonard after that. Right. Um, but then you're going to you know risk the opportunity of maxing out Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum because it looks like yeah, those guys are on their way mm -hmm. to max contracts. Maxes, but we'll see. Um, I mean, with the, if there's money out there, maybe, especially maybe in a couple years. Maybe people don't want to get max contracts anymore, Sean. Maybe. maybe. It's a new cool thing. Um, but, and the I'm other thing I want to throw out there as well is it's going to look bad for Boston if they, oh, yeah. just, but they also just signed a guy off. and they just shipped them They off. literally just ruined Isaiah Thomas's mm -hmm. uh, body career. and yeah. then now his career. So, like, it's it's not an un-Boston thing to do. Camera's off, but uh, it's probably good because I, I just, I, I'm sweaty and I, I look distraught. Your hands um, are getting all clammy. But, oh, they've been, they've been, they've been sweaty <laughs> for a while. Um, but it, it's something where, again, I, I probably sound whiny. I probably sound like I'm a know-it-all. It probably also sounds like I, I, I feel like I'm about to lose a belt bet because of, uh, you know, LeBron <laughs> You're James getting a little worried over there about No, the I, I'm honestly not. Um, it, it's just, it's something that people might construe as it, but it, it, it's just something where there's so much cloudiness in, in this situation with Kawhi, 
and San Antonio that I don't know where to land. And if it's the way it seems, where it seems like Kawhi wants out and it's because of frustration with the team, I don't know what that frustration is. And it just seems like he's impatient. He wants to win now. And I don't know if that's for money. I don't know if that's for legacy. I don't know exactly what his motives are. I think it'd be interesting to see what those motives are. Mm-hmm. I, I don't understand the move to L.A. because I, Maybe I think it's that, just I want to be I, closer I, to home and where I'm comfortable with. And I just want to play in L.A. because I have homes there and that's where I'm comfortable. I, I don't know about that. I mean, it, it's, maybe. Uh, it's, I, I just, it's something that I, I don't understand the appeal of big markets too well anymore because... Uh, it, it's something where you even look at Donovan Mitchell, who was just drafted by the Jazz. wasn't mm-hmm. his choice, but he's making the damn best out of it. And people know Donovan Mitchell's yeah. name after a year um, in Utah. And, and San Antonio is such a, a well-run system, it's just weird to finally see it break down. And maybe I'm nervous as a Pats fan um, because San Antonio and, and the New England Patriots have a very similar system. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and we see the, the Patriots one or people trying to crumble it down. And, and, and now we see kind of a big crack um, in the San Antonio system. Let us know your thoughts on Kawhi Leonard. Where do you think he's going to go? Should the Spurs trade him to the Lakers? I don't think they should trade him to the Lakers. I don't think they will. I think they're going to look out east and keep him away from them. And even if that means, you know, it's just one year until Kawhi just comes back and signs with a Western Conference team, uh, you can at least try to prevent that by trading him out east. I don't think they're going to they're, they're gonna trade him to L.A., though. So let us know in the comments down below, where do you think the Spurs will trade Kawhi Leonard to? 